Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about our latest blog, Glioblastomas, and kind of talk a little bit about the research that's out there and why people are really looking at cannabis as a treatment option in glioblastomas. Um, if you want to learn more about this, you can read our blog at www.radicalhealthcare.com. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today was what the research is showing. And currently we have research both in animal and in human models. Um, some of the most recent research that came out was done in animals by Dr. Manuel Guzman. And what he was looking at was using cannabinoids in different ratios with the standard of care, particularly Tamadar, which is the oral chemotherapy option used right now to treat glioblastomas. And what they did was they looked at a one-to-one -one ratio with Temadar, and then they looked at a higher CBD to THC ratio. Now, again, this was done in animals, and sometimes translating the animal data into humans is difficult. But what the research did demonstrate was that a higher level of CBD to THC in conjunction with Temadar did show a higher rate of tumor cell death. Um, some of the research we actually have in humans um, is limited, but what we do know is that we had about eight patients, um, again, this was do done by Dr. Guzman in 2006, and that research, what they did was they took THC and um, injected it directly into the tumors of the glioblastoma patients. Now, all of these patients were considered terminally ill and eventually did pass away, but the purpose of the study was to determine whether or not they were going to have any adverse effects. Um, and all eight patients did tolerate the injection of THC directly into the tumors. Um, the other research was done in 2017 by GW Pharmaceuticals. And what they did was they took their Sativex product, which is a one-to-one -one THC to CBD ratio, in conjunction with the standard of care, radiation and Temadar. Um, they had about 21 patients and half got the standard of care and the other half got the standard of care with the cannabinoids. And what the research demonstrated, while it is limited in a small amount of research, it did show that those who received cannabis in addition to the standard of care actually had higher survival rates past the control group. So it, you can understand why people are really looking to cannabis as a treatment option for glioblastomas. Um, I hope that was helpful for you today. And if you are looking to use cannabis as a treatment modality, we do encourage you to work with a healthcare professional who is not only knowledgeable in cannabis, but also in cancer, if that's what you're coming to use it for. If you want to learn more about what we're doing or more about our education, you can visit our website. We do offer training to those who are looking to learn more about cannabis as healthcare practitioners or those in the industry. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.